Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at Target. We're going to go ahead and check out some of the prices on groceries. Some of the things you guys have asked about over the last couple weeks, been getting a lot of comments on some items disappearing in a lot of the grocery stores across the country and around the world. So we're going to go into Target, see if we can find some of these things, as Target is another option. Let's get to it. Okay, first thing I wanted to show here at Target is their frozen vegetables here. Target is loaded down, they usually are. Getting a lot of comments on frozen vegetables being low or out in some stores across the country. So I wanted to point this one out here as Target is another option. While I'm back here, I wanted to show some of these steam in the bag options that they have here. These are pretty good. Uh, this Southwest style burrito bowl blend is really good right here. $2.89 for these. Probably feed two, maybe three people off one of these bags. Definitely a good option. Caribbean style seasoned rice and vegetable blend. That one's really good. $2.89 for that too. You guys will be seeing this video on April 5th. Friday, April 5th, 2024. Just wanted to point out any of the sales that we point out just for that point of reference. You have to buy two of these, but... They got the rallies and Arby fries on sale, two for eight dollars. Two for eight dollars. Actually, the regular price is better than some other stores too. Been getting a lot of comments on frozen fries getting more expensive and different store brands running out, probably because Arita is so expensive nowadays. Just wanted to point this one out. We get comments on both of these. So I wanted to point out if you see these new lower price stickers here at Target, they've been doing a pretty good job lately of lowering prices so everywhere you see where they have a new lowered price so i mean these were 3.99 these uh nine ounce packs of different uh deli meat here this one right here is probably my favorite the uncured black force ham but look you can see right here they were 3.99 down to 3.49 so good deal on that save 50 cents now, as to where I'm not a huge fan of the sliced cheese by Good and Gather, uh, I would say it's better than Kroger. Uh, I'm just not a fan of Kroger's cheese anymore, um, and it's a lot cheaper. Two forty nine regular price at Kroger, two twenty nine here. Um, to be fair, I've only tried a couple brands. I've tried the sharp cheddar and I've tried the provolone. The provolone was okay. Also, the only place that I have seen these little stack packs of Telemuk cheese here. Every now and then you can find them on sale, but for $4.39, I like these because they stay fresh a lot longer. And actually, I haven't seen Colby Jack in a while, but this is the only place where I've been able to find these. I don't know where else to get those. They also have their organic options here as well. These you can also steam in a bag. Just throwing that out there. But they got the cauliflower here, uh, $2.29 for that. They got the organic whole green beans, $2.29 for those. They got this vegetable medley down here, $2.29 for that as well. I don't feel like these prices are that bad um, for organic. Organic mixed vegetables here, $2.29 for that one. Yeah, I was scrolling back. I didn't even notice when I was checking out the Arby's and Checker Fries here. They got a right of new lower price, $4.69. A Kroger had lowered their prices to $5.49, but who knows? Those will probably be going back up here at some point. Just just pointing this out, $4.69. I know we have some diehard Arita fans on the channel here. It's a cheaper place to get them. So we had a longtime viewer say they were not able to find any Chobani yogurt at Walmart or some other store you were talking about. Just wanted to point out they do sell it here at Target. And they're $4.39, which is actually a decent regular price. And someone else, it's been a little while, but someone else was talking about Oikos. Uh, now, these are $5.29, so not the best price. Uh, some of these down here, though, are $4.69. Kind of surprising that these are more expensive than Chobani. Usually, it's the other way around, depending on what store gets the best deal. But they are coming in check out some of their different produce options here looks like they got the three pound bags of mandarins here for 379 379 they were 398 at walmart on sale so good option here we're always getting comments on these they have these four pound bags of navel oranges for 499 
You got lemons here, 69 cents each. And that is down too, because these, these were 99 cents each, 39 cents each for a lime. And so we're out, they're out of the single oranges, but they would be 99 cents each if they had them in. And they got their good and gathered chicken breast here, 279 a pound. We have gotten chicken here before, it is just fine. That's actually cheaper than Meyer right now. Meyer's 309 a pound. Not too bad of an option there. We got now Genio Turkey, or the one of the only places that sells the 99% lean. That is six dollars and thirty-nine cents for that. And they have the 93% lean one pound package, 469, and then the 48 ounce, three pounds. $13.49 for that. Now the hamburger here is about the same regular price as Kroger. Surprisingly, you would think it would be more. 85% lean comes out to about six bucks. Six dollars a pound. It used to be $10.99. It went up. But I will say the quality is great here. Uh, Jessica's used this for a meatloaf before. Turned out really good. Never tried the ground pork here. We have gotten some good comments on it. That is $3.99 a pound. Someone said you couldn't find any Oscar Mayer hot dogs at Walmart. Wanted to point out they do have them here. At Walmart, you know, they used to be $2.50 regular price. Now they're $2.84 for this here at Walmart. So Walmart had a significant price increase. But regular price here, $3.49. So cheaper at Walmart. They do have them in, though. But they have a sale going on until Saturday, April 6th. 2024 you gotta buy two of them but you get two of them for five dollars so that makes it 250 a pack another item from walmart someone was saying one of our longtime viewers actually was talking about not being able to find their favorite kind of great value bacon the other day just wanted to point out i have tried the market pantry bacon which is the target brand 449 so about the same price and this is really good definitely worth trying out some of these different dips that Target offers here by the Good & Gather brand. Uh, these are really good. The spinach artichoke dip is really good. I've tried that one a while back. Buffalo style chicken dip. It's it's okay. Not the best, but it's for $4.79. That's not too bad of a price. Uh, and then they have some of their hummus here, which is a little cheaper. They got the classic hummus here. Of course, if you want the Sabra, uh, $4.29. You're not paying much more. For this here i remember this was an issue a couple months ago usually right before christmas it seems like this stuff sells out like crazy but just pointing out target is another option they do have it now it's been a while since i have been to target and checked out any grocery items i don't know what the egg prices went up to like everywhere else they're usually right around the same price as kroger but now they're a little cheaper 18 count 319 339 at kroger right now we are expecting egg prices to go up again uh, as there's been more issues with the uh, the bird cold and all that. 12 count here is 219, 229 at Kroger. So a little cheaper here. We have used good and gather eggs just fine. Now as to where heavy whipping cream has gone up here as well. Uh, it was 529 the same time that Walmart was 528. Walmart went up to 567. Now Target is 589 for the biggest one here. 349 for one about half that size, but they are getting it in. We have gotten some comments that heavy whipping cream has been flying off the shelves and not coming back in. We had an issue with this about a year ago. Same goes with half and half. It's where they don't have too much here. They are getting some in. They've got the Land of Lakes and then they got the Good and Gather down here. Somebody had asked about cold brew coffee, and I was excited to point this one out, but apparently the prices did go up on it. Now it's the same price as it is everywhere else. This was $5.79 for these, now $6.49, pretty much the same price as it is everywhere. But I will say Target does get in a good variety. They have all different kinds of cold brews, different different varieties and flavors. They got the Calafia Farms up here, get comments on that a lot. Uh, they got the Stoke right here, different kinds. You know, some, some stores will have a bunch, but they'll only have like one flavor. So one of our viewers was saying how you haven't been able to find any Skippy peanut butter. Um, just pointing out they do sell it here at Target. We had an issue with this a while back. Couldn't find any Skippy peanut butter. Then all of a sudden Skippy was coming in and we couldn't find any Peter Pan peanut butter. But they do have all different varieties. They got the smaller ones down here for $3.19. They got some of the bigger ones here. Uh, actually, is that a sale? 
$6.49 for the 40 ounces. No, that sale has expired. That is $6.49. Uh, but they have some of the natural here too. $12.39 for those two big containers. We did get a couple comments on some different shortages on jams and jellies. This has been happening around here as well. A couple different Kroger's that I visited. We saw inconvenience stickers everywhere on a lot of different ones. Been seeing grape jelly, but usually that's the one that disappears for a while. Just pointing out that Target's another option. Someone had also mentioned that you were having trouble finding some of your different frozen fruits that you couldn't find them at Aldi or Walmart. Just pointing out here, it is another option. Got the triple berry blend. It's probably the most commented on the channel. One I always try to point out here. This is 32 ounces for $12.99. Some of these are pretty cheap though. They got the mango here. Is that mango? Yeah, mango chunks, $2.99 for that. We got the whole or sliced strawberries here, $3.49 for those. Uh, got the dragon fruit chunks here, $4.19. Tropical fruit blend, $4.19 for that. Pineapple chunks. All different kinds. Well, they do have their gallon size of distilled white vinegar here, $3.99 for that. About the same price. As, well, here in Kroger, the two highest prices. So at least they're getting it in, though. I did see a Kroger the other day where they, they did have a couple of them, so they are getting them in, but they're still pretty wiped out. Got some of the Good & Gather apple cider vinegar right here. Get good comments on that one. Um, I don't, okay, they got, yeah, they got the brag right here. $7.29 for the big one. Uh, and then they have their own jugs of apple cider vinegar down here. $3.59 for those. Let's see, what is this? Hellman's and Best Foods mayonnaise, 20 or 30 ounces, 10% off with Circle. So you have to have their credit card to get that deal. So as to where they are on sale, it's really not that great of a sale. $1.29 for the tuna creations here. Um, we got a lot of comments on these, so I want to point this out. This is good until Saturday, April 6, 2024. They do have these on a rollback for $1.14 a piece at Walmart. So if you're closer to Walmart, that might be the best option for you. Uh, let's see, they got the bowls for $1.29 as well. Let's see, different macaroni and cheese options. I will say, like, if you need, like, gluten-free or different organic, look at all these macaroni and cheese options they have. So many different ones of Annie's. Like, this this is kind of where Target shines. I feel like every store kind of has their thing. Macaroni and cheese, there are just tons and tons and tons of different options. Also, when it comes to pasta, which their spaghetti is really good. Uh, we used to get this all the time until we started going to Sam's Club. Now we get it at Sam's Club. But it's about the same price, and it, the quality is probably just as good. Maybe a little better. I, re I remember really liking the Good & Gather spaghetti. 99 cents a box still. I'm surprised it's still that cheap. Uh, $1.89 you can get the family size, which is two pounds. And you can get it for a little less than a dollar. So, And they also have other pasta options. They got the chickpea gluten-free spaghetti here. They got the red lentil rutini uh, gluten-free. Gluten-free yellow lentil rutini. They got some of the banza up here. Got some gluten-free barilla. That's hard to find sometimes. You can find that in Meyer. Uh, they got the organic spaghetti right here. By Good & Gather. Whole wheat spaghetti. I mean, just all different kinds of pasta options. All kinds of different pasta options. That's good. It's good to see. I know a lot, a lot of our viewers have to have gluten-free products. More options for you. And I love how they have this build-it-yourself pizza stuff right here. They've got the different sauces here. This Good & Gather organic salsa, I've never tried it. But a lot of people love this one. $2.29 for that, so a lot cheaper than Rayo's or Rouse, however you like to say it. Then you got the different pepperoni here. Pepperoni, $4.19 for the Hormel. I mean, Hormel's Hormel. It's it's good. I've never tried the Market Pantry, but they have these little pizza crusts here. They've got the different organic ones here. And they've got like the thick crusts. Actually comes with two of them right here, $3.99. And the little personal ones. Now, as to where Target doesn't carry as much like canned tomato products as like pretty much anywhere, Walmart, Kroger, uh, Meyer, you know, they carry a lot more. They are full on different canned tomato products. We have been seeing ourselves and been getting comments that a lot of canned tomato products have been in short supply again. So just pointing out that Target is another option and a good option it is uh, too. Tomato sauce here, 99 cents. 
99 cents a can and they're diced tomatoes so it's about the same price as walmart walmart isn't that what 96 cents a can now so and it's good quality guys i, I gotta tell you there's only maybe a couple things that i've ever tried of the good and gather brand that i didn't like so many different options that they're getting back in obviously some of these are still gone but they're getting a lot more of their organic uh different broth in which arguably you know it's I don't know. I mean, it's really, it's about the same price as it's cheaper than Swanson. Where is Swanson? There it is. $269 for Swanson here. The organic of Good & Gather is $239. But look at this. Move my finger out of the way there. They got the Pacific Foods uh, chicken broths up here as well. A little pricey. $339. We get a lot of comments on these. These are hard to find. They got the creamy tomato soup up here. They got the butternut squash. They also have the Pacific Foods canned soups here. Got the different canned soups. They got Amy's soups here for $3.50. You do have to buy two of them to get that deal, though. And that is good until Saturday the 6th as well. Um, and, you know, some places we find these, the Pacific ones, for $3.99 at some places. So for a regular price, yeah, I mean, I think those are still a little pricey. But anyway, we got uh, Progresso here. How long does this last till? The 6th six so we got till saturday two for four you you do have to buy in multiples of two here at target but they do have them on sale for a dollar 99 at kroger but i believe that is on a digital coupon so you can only buy five of them i think if that sale's still going on but you can there's no limits here you know you just have to make sure you buy in multiples of two saw this sale here on pete's coffee on this end cap here 7.99 comes down to $7.99 when you buy two of them the 10 to 12 ounce bags here this is good until April 6 2024 they got the whole bean or the ground $7.99 okay next on the list of some things disappearing and I do notice that this is lower than normal too they don't carry much or they keep it in the back not really sure whichever uh, they do have oh nope that stickers expired this is $3.99 for the vegetable oil and 439 for the canola oil both of these are 48 ounces crisco down here which is 40 ounces that's inflated a little over a year ago these are 559 for the vegetable and the canola they do have the mazzola corn oil in here 549 for that that's been a tough one to find then they have some different cooking sprays here different olive oils but this is definitely lower than I'm used to seeing. This is something we've been getting a lot of comments on, different olive oils. We knew this was going to happen. They said after the first of the year, a lot of other oils were going to be hard to get in because of weather conditions and stuff like that. But, they, you know, it's why we point these things out here at Target and some other places you normally wouldn't think because it is another option. Definitely not the cheapest on sugar anymore. Good & Gather is now probably the most expensive when it comes to store brand. Three thirty nine, dollars making it $0.10 cents higher than the uh than kroger and some of their well some of their flour is actually still the same price 259 for the five pound of the good and gather uh let's see is that 249 249 for the marketplace uh bleached all-purpose flour this one says 259 though yeah that's the price 259 for that but they have some other options as well got some gluten fr Gluten-free flour blend here, $2.69 for that. They got the almond flour, $6.39. We got coconut, palm sugar, just random things that, you know, you wouldn't think that Target would have. They do. They do have a few different options of Bob's Red Mill also. Oh, well, they got the little minute rice two-packs on sale for $1.59. Good until Saturday, April 6, 2024. They got the cilantro and lime and the jasmine, too two that uh people comment on from time to time dollar 59 this week they have the ben's original ready rice however they are 279 a pack which is uh yeah i mean that's probably the highest i've seen anywhere in a while kroger went up to 269 but theirs is on sale this week i think for a dollar 99 on a digital coupon i'm pretty sure and we got different rice options here dry rice got the beans dry beans these have stayed the same price. Uh, every one of these that I'm seeing here have stayed the same price. They have not gone up. They still got the jasmine over here, three thirty-nine for this. Is that is that two pounds? Yeah, 
two pounds, three thirty nine. I mean, yeah, they they went up, you know, about a year ago, but they've stayed the same price. They even still got some of these cheaper one pound brown rice here, ninety nine cents. One pound white rice, good and gather, eighty nine cents. Now, as far as their canned vegetables go, well, I'm not a big fan of their canned corn or green beans or peas. They are sixty nine cents, so they're fairly cheap, but. Just not a huge fan on those. Del Monte here, same price, regular price as Kroger. It's rare we even see a sale on them here. They're $1.59 a can. But some of these different organic options, $1.29 uh, a can for some of these. We've gotten good comments on these. They have some of their Tazo teas on sale this week. $3.49, good until April 6, 2024. And really, I mean, even the regular price is cheaper than a lot of other places right now. But $3.49, that's not too bad. Here we got, let's see, we got the big boxes of the Kodiak Power Cakes. Get a lot of comments on these. These are $4.99. All of them are. $4.99. The ones that are $5.99 here, they got the Power Cakes. Uh, flapjack and Waffle Mix. Yeah, save a dollar. Good until Saturday. Oh, I noticed they have lowered their prices on their 42-ounce canisters of oats here. Old fashioned and quick oats. These were $4.29. $3.99 now. $3.99. It's a good deal. Also, the smaller ones are still the same price. $2.69 and $2.69 for the quick oats. They got the steel cut oats here. $4.79. The Aldi brand is $3.09, so way cheaper there. But they have this good and gather organic right here. Old fashioned oats, $3.79 for those. Some different Bob's Red Mill rolled oats here. So it's $7.59. For 32 ounces and they got the quaker instant grits here somebody was actually asking about this one a while ago uh 349 for that lots of random sales here today at target probably most sales i've seen uh and and a lot of the stickers new lower prices good to see regular prices drop because that means better sale prices in the future hopefully got some of the nature valley actual uh granola here some of these on sale 429 down from 469 then we got all different kinds of options. Good and gather. Some of these are on sale two for seven. You do have to buy two of them, but get them for three fifty instead of four fifty nine. That looks like they have the smaller bags of Dunkin' Coffee on sale six ninety nine. With this deal though, you have to buy two of them to get that deal. So they'll be six ninety nine, but you have to get two of them. Same goes for the Starbucks one here, the small packs. Uh, they're on sale for seven ninety nine, but you have to buy two of them. So it'd be 16, about six to fifteen ninety eight for two bags of these, bringing them to seven ninety nine a bag. But yeah, you gotta buy two. Does include whole bean. Uh, let's see, a couple new lower price stickers here. Not sure what chuck full of nuts was, but it looks like uh, it's eight sixty nine now. I do believe the Duncan here was nineteen ninety nine. Now eighteen ninety nine, I guess. Uh, but they have a sale on Maxwell House. $7.99 and that is good until Saturday, April 6, 2024. No extra purchase with this one, just $7.99 for these. I never really shop at Target anymore uh, as far as like coffee and stuff goes. It's been so long since I've even checked any of these prices. Uh, $14.99 for the big 22 count of Dunkin' here pods. Uh, but I do believe... No. No, you don't have to buy two. Just $14.99 down from $16.99. Then they have, okay, so Pete's you do. With the Pete's one here, you do have to buy two to get that deal for $14.99, but not Dunkin'. That's what I was reading through there. And then Starbucks, same deal as Pete's. Got to buy two of them to get the deal. They will be $14.99 when you buy two. So be about, about $30. They are completely out of bottled water. No distilled water here. Which, this is kind of what I was hoping to find. We've been getting a lot of comments on shortages of distilled water again. So, thought maybe they would have it here at Target. They do not. And they are out of all their 24 packs of Ice Mountain. They do have the uh, purified drinking water here by Good & Gather. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. They got Ice Mountain here. Some of the small ones. But, yeah, completely out of the gallons of distilled. Been getting a lot of comments people saying that chocolate is going to be going up here uh yeah we we were talking about that a while back uh we do know chocolate's going to be going up in price however some of the prices are still the same here like a ghirardelli chocolate bar 339 here okay they just they went up to 429 at kroger regular price 
which, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just crazy, but I don't know. If you find the candy you like, find a good deal on it. Might want to stock up on some. Target does have a lot of variety of these different uh, low sugar candies and stuff. We always get a lot of comments of, of people who want the lower sugar candies that they get these from Target. So wanted to point that out. Last time I was here, there wasn't really much. They must be popular because they do fly off the shelves. But yeah, got a lot of these in. I was curious because we pointed out the other day, uh, now Kroger was having a sale on them, but I was pointing out the shareable bags of M&M, same size here, are $5.49 regular price now at Kroger. $4.79 here, so still a little cheaper here. Still really expensive if you ask me, but yeah, candy is going up for sure. Over the last week, we got a couple comments on pet food being hard to find again, cat food being hard to find again. Wanted to point out some of the different deals here. They are low on some things. We'll go over that here in a minute. Uh, they got the Sheba packets, though, 10 for 10. You do have to buy 10 of these, but you get them for a dollar a piece. Dollar a piece. That includes some of the more expensive ones here as well, and, and includes the cheap ones. I guess you can mix and match between them all here. But yeah, good deal on that. Now, I know someone was talking about the different multi-packs where you can save the most money. You know, we were directing people about a year and a half ago, two years ago, when, when we couldn't find pet food anywhere to come to Target because they were still getting it in. Now, I had seen this here before, but look at this. They got a ton of it down here. It's more than I've seen pretty much anywhere else, even more than Walmart. And they do have a lot of different Friskies and... They're 79 cents a can. Now, this is definitely a lot more uh, than the last time I was here. But, yeah, they're definitely getting it in here for sure. And, hey, check this out. Looks like on the Fancy Feast, like, multi-packs here, they got, like, a free $5 gift card when you buy two. Is that what it is? And these different Fancy Feast multi-packs. Buy two or more, get a free $5 gift card. Wet cat food, 12 count. That's for that one there, but hey, that's a good deal. Save $5 on top of already getting a good deal. That includes the cat litter as well. So you could literally get a thing of Fancy Feast there, a thing of cat litter, save $5 on your next purchase. And wanted to point out that this is the same regular price as it is everywhere, $11.49 on most of these. Some, some of the brands are more expensive with all the extra added stuff and all that, but the regular run-of-the-mill tidy cats here. Yeah, included in that deal, save $5. I did want to take a quick look at some of the over-the-counter medicines. Got plenty of Excedrin here. They got Acetaminophen, their brand, and Tylenol. Out of some of their brands of their version of Aleve. And yeah, actually out of a good amount, really. But they've got the different bigger containers of Acetaminophen here. Looks like they're good to go on this. Another place we were directing people to come uh, about a year ago when we had the same issue that we're having right now of over-the-counter medicines. Plenty of ibuprofen and their brand. They are getting a lot of different allergy medicine in as well. Let's see, we got Claritin here on sale, $19.99, save $2. This says it's good up until June 1st. June 1st, okay. It's pretty good, so $19.99 down from $21.99. They got Zyrtec, they got their off-brands of that they got flow names but i don't see you know this has been an issue uh they haven't seen okay so maybe this here's one that might be kind of like their version of flow names but it's one that uh some people have been talking about some people said they were able to find it at sam's club but the last time i was at our sam's club they didn't have the knockoff flow names so i have to pay attention to that it does look like they're out of a lot of their brand they do have the very expensive flow names brand in got some different Sudafed. Some of the children's medicines, uh, and they have a lot of children's medicines, and this is good to see. Uh, it's another play, like I said before, it's where we were directing everybody when nobody could find Tylenol, uh, children's Tylenol. Target had it. I mean, I remember even when Walmart wasn't getting it in, Target still had it here. Well, that was our trip to Target. Another option, guys. Plenty of over-the-counter medicines here at Target. There's some out. Some of them. Good deal on that pet food, though. Fancy Feast is probably the most commented on the channel as far as cat food goes. Add that $5 discount into the uh, the cat litter or the mix and match between both, I guess. 
Uh, some other deals, we saw some prices drop, some regular prices drop, or they have those new lower price stickers. I like that. I like when they put those up so you can see, you know, because maybe, you know, like us, you might have X'd out some products over the years because they've just gotten so expensive. I like that Target does that so that you, even if it is still too much for you, it shows you right there what the new lower price is. So maybe it'll, you know, maybe you'll want to buy it again if it's a little cheaper, right? So anyway, good trip to Target. Uh, I was glad I was able to find a lot of the items that people are asking about that are missing uh, in some of your stores. Good to find those as, again, Target is another option. And a lot of those Good & Gather products are pretty good quality as well. So we can't forget about those. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out. Thank you.